Welcome to the Morning by Morning podcast, a ministry of Grace Baptist Church. Born in Utwa village near Bessin, Kothabu lived with his parents until he was 15. He was then a wicked and ungovernable boy. And when he left his parents, he became a robber and a murderer. According to his own confessions, he murdered no fewer than 30 of his fellow countrymen. Heavily in debt, he was sold as a slave in the Molmine Bazaar and bought by Shwebe, a Burmese Christian and disciple of Adoniram Jetson, the first American Baptist missionary to Myanmar. Shwebe, who was the owner, tried to teach him but made little progress. Later, Judson took charge of him and taught him to read and write. In the 22nd of April, 1827, there was an entry in Judson's journal that said, Mong Tabu, a poor man belonging to Mong Shwebe, Judson described Tabu as a Karen by race, imperfectly acquainted with the Burmese language, and possessed of very ordinary ability. He has been about us uh, several months, and we hope that his mind, which is exceedingly dark and ignorant, has begun to discern the excellency of the religion of Christ. Judson recorded that Tabu had a diabolical temper, but after much prayer and hard work, there was a a breakthrough. So after his baptism, Tabu asked for permission to go and tell the little he knew to his Karen friends. After hearing about Tabu, people traveled two days or more to visit uh, the teacher of Tabu, Mr. Boardman, in Dawai and learn more of Christianity. Tabu was an unceasing and tireless pioneer preacher, an itinerant evangelist. A contemporary mission worker said of him, Kotabu was an ignorant man, yet he did better than all of us, for God was with him. He was never ordained. Francis Mason, who was a translator of the Bible into the Karen language, even said he was not adapted for the pastoral office. Now, at some point, rheumatism and blindness stopped Tabu's ministry and he passed away in a small village on the 9th of September, 1840. But no mound marks his grave. The eternal mountains are his monument, and the Christian villages upon the hillsides are his epitaph. God fully and richly blessed Tabu's ministry after 12 years, from starting from 1828 to 40. Of his labor, there were 12 170 members belong, belonging to the Karen Baptist churches, scattered over a large area in dozens of villages. To the last, he did not have one anxious thought about his future. When he was asked, his usual reply was, God will preserve me. From the day of his baptism to the day of his death, he never slackened his labors in preaching Christ in places where the gospel has never been and never been heard. From Dawai to Thailand, from Martaban to the borders of Chiang Mai, from Rangoon to Arakan. Tabu became a faithful and successful missionary, a distinguished instrument in the hands of God. He lived to see hundreds upon hundreds follow in his steps, in whose conversion he had played a significant part. Perhaps one of the saddest things a Christian could say and believe is that God can't use them. We see our limits and place them on God, thinking God can't use us. This is, in fact, what Moses told God. But God told Moses a truth that I believe that every Christian should grasp and put into action. We find it in Exodus chapter 4, verses 10 to 12. It says, And Moses said unto the Lord, O my Lord, I am not eloquent, neither heretofore, nor since thou hast spoken unto thy servant. 
but I am slow of speech and of a slow tongue. And the Lord said unto him, Who hath made man's mouth? Or who maketh the dumb or deaf? Or the seeing or the blind? Have not I the Lord? Now therefore go, and I will be with thy mouth, and teach thee what thou shalt say. The power is God's power, not our own. And with God, all things are possible. A man may surrender their treasures and notice that God does a good amount of things with it. Another man may give of their talents and God does a much greater amount with it. And another man gives God his time and God does even more with that man. But another couldn't offer any of these things because they believed that they had nothing. But that is when they realized that God was able to use them the most because in giving their life they had had given their possessions they had given their time they had given their talents and they had given their treasures and in so doing God was able to use all of it let's pray dear Heavenly Father we thank you for the life of Tabu and how much of an example he play he shows to every Christian, how God can use every single Christian, no matter where they are in life, whatever uh, talent they have, whatever amount of time they have, or whatever treasure they can give. If they are to give their life to God, you can do so much more and so much greater things, despite what is humanly possible. We thank you for all you do in our lives, Lord. I pray that you'd bless everyone today, and we pray that you just uh, be with them and be honored and glorified through it all. And we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for joining us. We upload a new podcast each weekday at 6 a.m. For more info, check the link in the description below.